Manawana, geographers. That is how's it going in Moray, the language of the Mossi. This is my presentation from a few years ago on Burkina Faso, which is informally called Burkina. Burkina is a former French colony, and it became independent from France in 1960. Until 1984, it was called Upper Volta. People from Burkina are called Burkina Bays. Here are some fast facts. Burkina's capital is the fabulously named Ouagadougou. Its currency is shared with a few other West African countries. Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Guinea-Bissau, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, and Burkina Faso itself all share the West African CFA a franc as its currency. Surprising to me was the horse central Burkina Bay identity. You can see the horses in the coat of arms, and although there are many cultures, love of horses brings people together, as you will see in some later pictures. There are many languages spoken, but Moray and French have the most speakers. As I said on the previous slide, Burkina became independent from France in 1960, but changed its name in 1984. As the slide says, Burkina is about the size of Colorado in the U.S. I think it looks like a snub-nosed pistol point at the border between Niger and Benin. If you see something different, comment below. What do you see? My mom sees a seahorse head facing in Niger and maybe kissing the border between Niger and Benin. Now you can see it, why they called it Upper Volta from the right hand, hand picture because the Volta River's three main tributaries, the Black Volta, right, White Volta, and Red Volta, start in Burkina and flow south into Ghana. Volta is Portuguese for twist or turn, and that makes sense for the photo too. There is li very little water otherwise in this landlocked country. As I said on the previous slide, Burkina Faso is a landlocked country, but it's becoming way drier. Much of Burkina Faso is in the Sahel, which is a transition area that stretches across West Africa between um, the Sahara Desert to the north and the Sudanian savannas in the south. It has been having a semi-arid climate that's increasingly turning to desert. A crisis has developed in recent years because of drought, high food prices, violence in other countries, displacement, and chronic poverty. One sign of the crisis is that over 43,000 refugees have moved south into Burkina from Mali. Hundreds more arrive every week, and their situation is desperate. They could likely use the help of Yeninga. Yeninga is the founder of the Mossi people, whose empire lasted 800 years. You can see that she was known for her horseback riding skills, her fighting power, and her beauty. Here is her story, often told by the griots, the traditional storytelling slash teachers of the Mossi. The story. Over 40 generations ago, a king named Naba Nairega had a brilliant, courageous, powerful daughter named Princess Yeninga, who was also beautiful and dear to his heart. He did not want to let her go, so he refused to let her marry. She felt like a field that had been cultivated just to let it rot away. To show him her feelings, she planted crops and let them wither without being harvested. He was unmoved. She was locked away, but escaped north on horseback. She had some adventures and eventually fell in love with a famous elephant hunter. They named their son Uedraogo, which means stallion, and their family was the start of the Mosi Empire. A statue of Princess Yeninga on horseback in the city of Uagadugu commemorates the story as it does an annual film festival for West Africa uh, and many, many other things. She is a hero to many in West Africa, and she is now one of my heroes as well. As you can see, the beauty of strength still shines in the Burkina Bay. Here are pictures from the famous northern town of Gorom Gorom, known for its market, its cultural diversity, and beautiful mosques. As I said before, the Burkina Bay love their horses. This is a picture of a popular horse festival in northern Burkina. I don't know what I like best, the colors, the amazing headgear on the horse. You can find horses featured in the founding story as well as other stories on the coat of arms, in prizes, names of sports teams, and statues in the capital. Here are the sources that I consulted for this presentation. I will copy and paste them in the description. Ibarka and merci beaucoup for watching this presentation. And um, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you like it. Goodbye, geographers.